Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Royson. I am super excited to continue our new series called The Top 10 Secrets of Web Handling on how to improve your web machine product and process. In this episode, we talk about problematic processes that include the most common converting operations of calendaring, coding, drying, laminating, metalizing, printing, and more. I know your time is precious, so let's get started. If you ask which processes could cause web handling problems, the answer would be the most common you find in the R2R industries. However, this list is far from complete as there are many others, but we only have time here to document a few as examples. To be clear, we are not referring here to web quality issues, such as poor thickness profile control, though you may have those troubles also. To be clear, we are not referring here to web handling issues, such as crooked rollers, poor tension controls, etc., though you may have those problems as well. What we are talking about here is the web process causes of web handling problems. I call this category product process design issues. If you ask why processes are causing problems, there are many reasons depending on the specifics. Here, we will just illustrate the topic with examples of ND expansion wrinkles due to width expansions in the range of one part in 1000 to one part in 100 that is possible with a wide variety of value-added processes, such as calendar encoding, metalizing, printing, and so on. Other examples we give is one or two of the half dozen causes of curl. If you had taken my award-winning and trademark Web 101 class that has been taken by 5,000 people, you would know that the MD wrinkle is one of six major cases. Within the MD wrinkle major case are a dozen subcases, or root causes if you prefer. Note that all are related to excess width. However, the two we will single out here are due to thermal and or hygroscopic expansion. If we look at the solution options, they including turning down the oven temperature or reducing coat weight respectively and or effective spreading. Let us take a closer look at these very common two subcases. In the first case, the root cause of the wrinkles is the width expansion due to water add-on. In the second case, the root cause is the width expansion due to heat addition. Your option list is short and sweet. Mm, or maybe not so sweet. You can do nothing. You can reduce water or heat depending on the subcase respectively. And or you can add effective spreading which is a whole chapter unto itself. However, to think that you can affix expansion wrinkles with spreaders alone may be more than limiting it could be naive. Laminator curl is so well documented that we even have a free and easy internet app to calculate the amount of curl that you will get. The factors are based on the well-known physics including tension, moduli, and some high-order expansive processes. Only one of these three options is web handling related. Thus, to think that you can fix curl with tension alone may be more than limiting. It could be naive. 
I have written two books on troubleshooting and teach a course on the subject. In my experience, the number one problem solving pitfall is when the boss says that something is not an option before you even have a chance to study the mechanics. If you want to be effective at troubleshooting, you must break a process up into several steps. The first and perhaps the most important is to figure out how the problem works and list all options allowed by physics, including unpleasant ones such as do nothing or change the product design. Then, and only then, and perhaps on another day and probably with a different team, they decide which options to pursue from the above complete list of options that physics allows. Better yet, if you can, it is often more desirable to prevent problems than to try to fix them after the fact when you already have a product, a machine, and a customer. This is called DFM, or Design for Manufacturability. And yes, I also teach that topic as well, and you will find that in Web 201.47a through f. I hope you have enjoyed this overview of process-related defects. Stay tuned for next week's show where we will discuss the building blocks of all machinery, which are rollers. If you have a topic you would like to hear about, let me know in the comment section below. If you found any of these stories to be interesting or useful, please like and share and subscribe. See you next time.